It's an inhumane amount of damage. Okay. How much are we doing here? Damn, Crow's the best card in the game. So, <laughs> no it's not. Actually, this is 7, 12, and 3. No, this is just as guaranteed lethal. <laughs> What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So today we are trying the Captain Combustible Pine Chrome deck. We are trying to combine into one strategy the almighty, wonderful card in this game, Cro-Magnolia and Pine Chrome. People were saying, Fry, how come you're always comparing them? Run them both in the same deck because they synergize with the same cards. And I think that's actually true. Uh, they do very well with small little free swarmy cards. And that's why we're running Shroom for two. We're actually running High Voltage Current, a card I really is is so much better than the amount I use in it's really nice to have found a use for it in this deck this will be a small guy it turns into a pine clone it's a good activator for your Cro-Magnolia again this does have to cover one of your minions so uh, you're basically trying to like high voltage current on one throw some like shroom for twos on the field on two and then get the big Cro-Magnolia play uh, on turn three maybe perhaps with a pop shroom so that will give you a really really big field obviously against the crazy class you're not going to go for that because they're just going to field clear you that is going to die miserably to trap territory and to uh you know teleport barrel of dead beards and a lot of other things that the crazy class again is going to mess that up but i'll say against the hardy class that could actually work uh because you know they're not, obviously not gonna be able to weed spray you on turn three if you play Chrome magnolia now if you are in a situation where you're worried and your opponent's passing too much and you're not going to be able to set up the crow on three uh you just can just stall 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 maybe set up a shroom for two on turn three and then get a big pine clone play together with a puff shroom on turn four that will give you three threes which are a lot harder let's say for the crazy class and a lot of other things in, the, in this game uh, to deal with. You can also alternatively play Mushroom Grotto on turn 3 or turn 4, and then the next turn uh, play a combination of, again, Puff Shrooms and Pine Clones. If you play your Mushroom Grotto all the way to the left, and it makes a Mushroom, a little Puff Shroom, to the right, uh, that little Puff Shroom will actually turn every uh, little Puff Shroom that this is, creates into a Pine Clone if you play Pine Clone. Uh, that turn, let's just have the game mechanics work since things spawn from left to right. The guys on the right are going to turn into Pine Clone and activate a Pine Clone ability. Uh, in the end, I added a couple of molecules. This is going to be very good both with Pine Clone and with uh, the Velociradish Hunter. I think there even might be a play where you Velociradish Hunter on three and then you like Shroom for two, Chrome Magnolia on four. That will actually buff this card like a lot. Uh, so I think that could be a viable strat too. For the late game finishers, we either have uh, Pod Fighter or Astroshroom. I do find Astroshroom is better in the late game. I guess if we're up against like Super Brains who can't really deal with an Astroshroom, we might play this early on turn one and get the value early. But against most heroes, you really want to wait uh, for the late game. You can even just turn this into a Pine Clone to one cost three three. That would be a great deal. Uh, otherwise, you want to play your Pod Fighter. Uh, you want to you got to play it in a time it's not going to be removed. It only has four health. But using your Blazing Bark or your Embiggen on it to grow it up, and then you can play free Puff Shrooms. You can add a Astro Shroom to that combo, which will do an additional damage every single time you play a guy. Uh, you play your Shroom for twos. If you have a Mushroom Grotto, it'll just be making more minions and just do a large series of bonus attacks. Uh, for your pod fighter to finish off your opponent. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's just get right into the game. Me do the game. Here we go. Is Zombot a good legendary? Nope. It's one of the worst in the game. Bum, 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 bum. All right. It is Super Brains. Do we get away with doing this on one? I think I'll keep one Berry Blast. Ugh, this isn't looking very good. I could... One well, now that I have the Crow... Hmm, I don't even know if I play this on one. It's, it's still really bad. Beam Me Up kills it on two. Alright. We just don't have enough. Again, if you don't have all your one drops, you really can play. I, I didn't mention this. You once you make a pine clone play, you can stick your. You can do the Crow Magnolia the turn after, like like Puff Shroom or Shroom for Two Crow Magnolia that buffs up all your pine clones and stuff like that. So I think it's viable. You can't spam this on one. It dies to just him throwing in, beam me up. There's just too many things to answer. Really, any two drop just answers this on two. 
I guess I'm throwing him like a berry blast, but. Dr. Space Time right now. <sighs> Do we just double berry blast that? That's so sad, but I think that's what we're doing. Berry blast to beam me up. You're so smart. Uh, wait till the end of the first game because they're sending some decks. I guess it's these two. Ugh. I kill everyone! <laughs> We're not gonna have a way to deal with this guy. This is so bad here. Maybe I should play this because if he doesn't have exactly beam me up, we're fine. That's such a waste of that deadly, by the way. That is such a horrible play. Oh my god. We're just spamming one pine clone this turn. That's what's happening. What? How much did this... It cost two? Why does it say it cost one, though? It's turn four. He didn't play Cryo Brain. He plays this and he still has three brain. It must be a visual glitch. This really did cost two. The game glitched out. And this is his entire his entire thing. So we're playing one pine clone here. Just to take out this paparazzi. It's so weird. Yeah, it did cost two. Weird. Mom, baby, right now. So it's Pine Club? Like a record, baby. I have this 80 song stuck in my freaking head. Okay, so he has four. He's just gonna do something stupid like triplication. Oh, that's a good leap. That's. Uh, Pretty bad card, just gives a lot of charge. Oh, didn't get anything to protect his. He really doesn't have much to protect his. You're a yeet. A deadbeat yeet. Protect our face, short term. Shrooms. Astro Shrooms Crow. It's so bad! <laughs> oh, it's so good! Whoa. Wait. Five. That's a lot of damage. I don't think we go the... I think this is the way. This is so awkward. Look how much damage this is. It's an, ins it's an inhumane amount of damage. Okay, how much are we doing here? Damn, Crow's the best card in the game. So, <laughs> no it's not. Actually, this is 7, 12, and 3. No, this just is guaranteed lethal. <laughs> Whoa! That's harsh! That is harsh! Oh! Whoa. Damn. Damn, son. Ease up a little bit. Oh, that one hurt. Wow. Wow, freaking wow. See, we're having this whole fight of what's better, Crow Magnolia or Pine Clone. Little did we know is the combination of the two just makes the, the Reddit, the fry him up. The powers combine into one. It's the literal best of both worlds. Dang, that was harsh. I feel like that shark play was <laughs> pretty stupid by him. Because again, he commits a six drop when he's we just have tempo in the field. Against Captain Combustible. It wasn't a good play by him, but hey. 
All right. I feel like Unity from Rick and Morty. Pro Magnolia win condition Kappa. Uh, what are we doing here? You're a little slow. You're a little slow, baby. Run. Maybe we can do this now. Screw this environment. This actually could work. I forgot that there's actually synergy between the... The high voltage current buffs the dinosaur. It's just a little cute synergy. I think we're gonna actually, since it's Super Brains, again, Super Brains is basically the only hero you can do this against. I'm gonna start developing the Astro early here. Does this go on the ground or on heights? I guess it goes on heights, so it doesn't die to, like, laser base. That's fine. You don't add this. You don't want the... the, the, the the blo one damage block meter charge is not good. Bungie plumber, <laughs> great. We should try to set up a Cro-Magnolia here, in case we get it. We can also just meteor. There probably will be a better meteor later. So I think we go. The Crow Mag would actually go right here next turn. Let's just set these up in the middle either way. This will go here on turn three. This is fine. Planet of the... Oh no! Why did we play this on Heights? We got Planet of the Grapes! We could have done Cycle Cap! Maybe we'll get another one. Another one. What else did we get? Give me third high voltage current. Oh my gosh, I don't know what this deck is anymore. So this is the way. Cycle combustible. <laughs> Captain psych 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 boss I don't know. Psychoable. <laughs> so lame guys. Stop being such lame, lame people. Oh, too bad we play that on heights. <laughs> oh! Is this good though? I guess it's all right. It's our best. It's our best move. This is, puts a four four on the field too. I think this is fine. If we go with this, mm, that's fine. We yeet. It's good against super brains. It working. Beam me up. Huh? So we just get the four four on the field. It's all good. Down to eight. Not bad. It is not bad. It's probably gonna be Raptors Meteor. No. Oh. It's gonna be Raptors Shroom for two. I'm just trying to think lanes for a second crow. I think proccing the block and doing extra damage this turn is the priority. Maybe the, sh the Raptors should have gone here on heights because then they're less susceptible to laser base alpha and less of a target for the second crew. This is fine. Shoot for two on planet. It's too slow. We're, 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 it, we're a turn four. He's down to eight health. We gotta go for the jugular. Teleport. Teleport. It probably should have been the other way around. Since they do the same damage. I have this tendency to put like the weaker cards in one who's proccing block, but this turn doesn't make a difference. Oh! Snap! God damn! That's a good molecule. Question is, do we do it? I think we'll do the molecule next turn. There's no rush. This also just makes lethal. Guy <laughs> <I> Flyer. <laughs> I'm like thinking Pogo. At least have something good. Smelly Zombie. No, it's freaking Kite. He'll get an extra card, which he's not going to be able to play. He'll get another ineffective card in his hand. That's nice. Totally worth it. Oh, look at him go! It's it's mini smelly zombie. Do we roll a one? Roll a three. Do we roll a one is the big question. The huge question is, do we roll a one? Yup. <laughs> Got him. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, against super brains. Again, said in the intro, against super brains, Chromagnolia and Astro and early Astroshroom is a great strat. Let's see what happens when we face Professor Brainstorm or Infinity or something like that. Or Zima. Ugh. Smash. So far so good. Just gotta play around that freaking total eclipse environment on the ground and we'll be good to go. Baby right now. We could just go 3-4, it's not bad, this gets weed sprayed, it's okay. Do we keep this guy? What would we rather have, a berry blast? Does this do anything for us right now? Probably not. If we get... Well, if he commits a 3-drop, this becomes a lot better. Let's look for a puff shroom, I think that's better. Berry blast is also better. Because it just makes us stall the first couple of turns. So again, we're not we're not running Astro Shroom on turn one. It's a smash. I shouldn't do that. I'll do the puzzle party at the end of the stream. We're streaming this on a Wednesday. How do you guys like my sexy voice? I picked this up from someone I met recently, and I need to stop it because I don't like it. <laughs> Two people actually. Recently met two people who talk like that. I think this is okay. If it doesn't work out, we'll just have to stall the pine clone a little more. Is there a reason to well Alley News actually kills one of these right now, so we'd rather yeah, let's just put this in there. That that total eclipse doesn't really matter. Since we're, we'll just pine clone it. I guess we don't want two pine clones to be in a total eclipse. Things. Rolling stone. If we get a puff shroom, the pine clone's worth it. Taunting grounds. Ugh. Gosh, I hope this is very blastable. Mm. Now that we have a second pine clone, we kind of just play it. This is fine. This is actually really fine. He passed. Oh, weirdo. He's gonna alley news next turn? <laughs> is, that, is that why he put the in? Like he did? <laughs> we could have screwed him with the Mushroom Grotto. Damn, too bad we, we gave that up. It's not really good against the Smash anyway. He just didn't get any immediate value out of his environment. Look at the little, the little like, plants. He did, passes turn four. What was he planning on doing? What was the play? He had nothing on four. Oh my gosh, look at this monster. Wow, who cares? So... <clears throat> I think we just move this one out of the way. Damn, very angry. Be good. Do we go for for like Pine Clone immediately, or should we get should we go for Molecule yet? Maybe we actually get super greedy and just go for Pine Clone here. Nah, screw it. It also makes this better. A Molecule next turn. Molecule Berry Blast. Next time. It's just so much damage. He's doing seven. We're doing. We're getting him to. Okay, he's doing nine. So right now he has four health, and we have eleven. Congratulations. If I would have gone Astro Shroom there instead of the high voltage current, I would have lethal, guaranteed lethal here. I basically do anyway. Screw this guy! Screw this guy! <laughs> Let's go! Pekinolith! Hmm, it's not bad. In fact... <laughs> that was the BM play. That wasn't the correct play, guys. 
I had a molecule. I had to do it. It was compulsive. Impulsive? I don't know what the difference is. Molecule's the most fun card in the game. Come on, guys. Damn, we got Bird of Paradise, but can of Look at all the top tier cards we got. Bird of is not really, but it is if you get it from, from Pine Clone. And then you get uh, Gatling P. Damn, that was crazy. Here's another Super Brains. Woo, today is our day. Let's get another one drop. The name for your new voice? It has a name? Where? No, I didn't see it. What is it called? We need a leaf. Thank you, Tony One. Whoa, how many is that? It's been nine a long months. Day without you, my friend. Hola, senor. Fry daddy. Let's get these scrubs. Exactly. Exactly. Hola, senor. Fry daddy. I don't know. Where does this go? If he does the... Hmm. Alright, let's just go this way. Maybe we'll get the, the, the cycle cap this time. We should try to do that. <laughs> when we do that a meme deck, it's just all about trying to create cycle cap with a different hero. With high voltage current. Is there any other way to get it? Oh, man. Hola, señor Friday. You know what? Screw this guy. I'll just take the damage. If he gets rid of one of the Astro Shrooms with a beam me up, then so be it. And so be it, Russia. Then so be it. <laughs> Listen, guys. If communists end up taking over, so be it. That's a good joke. Just can't deal with it. Why does anyone ever play Super Brains? It doesn't make sense. He's such a bad hero. <laughs> so many weaknesses. <sighs> Logistic nightmare, yeah. Because how would I how would I create a tier list template for that? What would the icons be? That would be See this, this is not. I'm actually getting rid of these guys. Uh, I think we keep both Puff Shrooms, though. The moment we get a Pine Clone. Puff Shrooms really the best card in this deck. Oh my gosh. We literally are going to be happy to use a 2-drop to remove a 1-drop. This card is... This card's a little bit. A little bit. Maybe this should just be a 1-2. I don't know. French fry my pillow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is bad. At least we got two berry blasts. Let's go for the sugary treat. What is this deck? Professor Brainstorm. It's okay. This old man, he's okay. And his mom is super... Uh, day. <laughs> Deck better not go 10 and 0 or Reddit will go nuts. That's fine. I don't mind. <laughs> Freaking cat lady, dude. Bruh. Bruh. Yeet. Intensifies. This is not a good card. Oh my gosh, that was hor horrid. Probably should have gone Astro Shroom there. Man, nah, probably not. We just need the block meter to behave. 40 command, don't even say that. Shut up. Blocks. None of our powers really help us though. <laughs> we need Pine Clone. Oh my god, oh my god. Did you not? Thought? Freaking stop it. Stop. I mean, any of our late game cards, huh? It's not better against Brainstorm. Mm -hmm. 
Please read the rules of the stream. Or you will face my wrath. <gasps> now we're good. This is just a pine cliff. Screw it. There's going to be a combo with Time to Shine in and Great Responsibility eventually, so this this is actually going to come in handy. Ugh, oh, that would be nice to kill. Gonna kill Bowie. Damn, teleportation zombie getting it though. Strategy deck tier list? I plan on it. <laughs> what to kill the other way. Why did he get a free superpower? What did he play? He played Thinking Cap last week? Gosh, that's two two five drops down the drain. It's okay, I have a really good feeling about this. I got a good feeling that I never, never, never had before. Um, no. You beat me up. So wow. <laughs> wow. That does even more. God damn. God damn. I got a good feeling. I think we have to do this just to make sure this doesn't die. It's kind of weird, but it's very hard for. I guess, you know. It just makes us die to fruitcake instead of bungee plumber. This is weird. Or wrath. He probably has fruitcake and is gonna win here. But if he doesn't, we OTK him next turn. What do you know? We lost to Valve Trickster Hybrid, the best car the best deck in the game. What a shame. What a shame that was. I feel a sh I feel bad for myself. I obviously misplayed somewhere. Didn't even have the mustache mine. It wasn't even a very good version of that deck. Oh, it was just Valk. It wasn't Trickster. It was Val it was a Valk Swarm deck. Okay. Yeah. He's not running Atrix. He was running Dog. It's not Valk Trickster Hybrid, guys. Still. Valk and he got a Valk. That's... If he didn't get a Valk, we would've won. We got a Valk. I got a good feeling. Never... Ooh, I think Berry Blast is acceptable. Just because we're not playing anything until at least turn 3, probably turn 4. Do redo Valtrickster Hybrid? Sure. See, that's nice. This is a lot of damage. Hey. The way you get shadow does not saying Frog, give me a shadow. The way it's saying something clever. And I'll say your name. Get wrecked. <laughs> Something clever. There you go, baking puppy. Now, now we're getting somewhere. Oh my gosh, everyone's just spamming the word "something clever." I sound like such a boomer when I say that. Oh, <gasps> that's so good. I probably want this to be early next turn, so I won't put it in one, we'll put it in two. Like, the, the double pine clone is the one you want to hit face, because block meter, but you want to still have options, so playing it in two gives us a lot of options to play to the right of it, when one doesn't even give us the option. <laughs> that would be like, ding dong, your health is gone. See? That's right. Dur, Durfitter. I don't always say people's names, but at least I, I give them my recognition. Fry should play Valorant. <laughs> no. No. I don't have time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Teleport, Doctor Who's good strat. Your mama is so bad. Too bad. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> What's wrong with me? Oh, this man is gonna get put one more puff shroom. That's okay. Ain't nobody got that. I wonder if he commits a four drop if we try to go for the eight, twelve damage. I better just go for nine. Can actually go for twelve using pine clouds. What do you know? How is Crow Magnolia better than Pine Clone? It don't make no sense. What the hell do you think that is? What do you think you're doing? We gotta we gotta get a move on with the Pine Clone at some point in the Mushroom Grotto. I wonder if this Mushroom Grotto is just an overall bad idea. <laughs> Women call me ugly. Until I tell them how much money I make, and then they call me ugly and broke. <laughs> Damn, he had laser base? I'm so mad. Two pine clones right down the drain. It's still okay. I got a good feeling that I never, never, never had before. You soldier me up. It's true for two here. All kill in the middle. More like monkey in the middle. More like your monkey, monkey, monkey. I got your feeling that I never, 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 never had before. I know. I, we haven't even seen Podfighter. Is Podfighter even in this deck? I must have taken it out at the last second. I don't know. We literally haven't even seen it. We haven't even mulliganed it. Oh, I think maybe we mulliganed it one time away. Yeah, we did. My bad. Alright, I just want, like, a bunch of Astrocados, and, uh, that would be fine. Dude! You're taking too long here! Maybe this is the play. He's not really killing these right now. You know what? Screw this guy. I'm doing the environment way. <laughs> got him. We are protected! Now we get even a better molecule next turn. That was pretty damn good. I must say that was pretty damn good. It's pretty dandy. Oh, we cleared his field. Oh, this is this is happening, damn. Uh do we go molecule or do we go Raptor's Chromag? I don't know. Fly fry, more like fly fry. I was almost gonna call the podcast channel, which I ended up calling the Deep Fry. Uh, I almost called it Why Fry. I feel like the Deep Fry is better. Uh, I have someone on Fiverr. I actually paid someone to make an animation for me of like the treasure chest logo, like falling into water. You'll see it'll be on the next video because it's supposed to be done in the next few hours here. Gotta get that jumping bean, let's go! Come on. They boop you! Boop your mother! He's gonna draw a card here, so there's no point in really booping this one. We have to go face. We can actually do this play next turn, it's kinda cool getting a team up there. Ugh. Ugh. We're, we're doing five. Damn. Who the heck did he get Mondo from? Oh, we ramping though. Not gonna be able to deal with the ramp. The ramp value is huge. Give me something good. How does this work? Wait! Wow! 
You, I think you cover this. Wait, no, you, well, no, you play this here. Okay, you play this here. No! No! <laughs> Damn it! No, we needed the proc- Oh, that was so unlucky. Is this how this works? Wait, is this gonna work? Hope he doesn't get freeze environment. Any other environment is fine. That's okay. It does nine, and now we win in both of these lanes. We should be okay here. Maybe I should have gone with the with the with the Mondo for a play. He's looking for for an answer. He needs two answers. So he needs backup dancer, infinity clones, two summonings. A super brain super would work. Teleport. I don't think it's gonna do it because he needs two cards still. No, we got him. Puffstrom wins. Puffstrom wins. Wow, it's lucky it went to the left and not to the right. There probably was a better play there. I, I, I probably should have gone. What was the actual play? Podfighter in... Maybe killing the Bronto was the play there to remove his win condition. It would have been safer. I should have gone, gone Podfighter. Here. And then what, though? And then supered it. And then hope we get a Puff Shroom in lanes 2 and 3. It wouldn't have even necessarily killed the Bronto there, because if you get the Puff Shroom in 1, it doesn't work. I think that was correct. Man. Okay, well, we did it. We did it, boys. We ended Huge Giganticus. That's almost as good as ending racism. I was kind of running out of time. I I'm pretty sure that was that was still the best play, because... The chances of us winning and killing the Mondo are almost the same there. Anyway. I didn't have a lot of brains. Well, he had six, actually. I don't know what I'm saying. Oh my gosh, stop giving me Chrome Magnolias. This sucks. This is... This this guy's name is Destroy You. I know this guy. Might even be a hacker. Okay. This guy's a hacker? It's five and one. Oh, sorry. I didn't press edit. Okay, so how does this work? We go... Do I just let him have this? We let him have the space time. So this goes... Here. Here. Acid Rain really is harsh, though. Ugh. Actually, I shouldn't even be going for this. I forgot about Acid Rain. Chromagnolia sucks against Brain Freeze just because of that one card. That was a mistake. I'm gonna... Damn what? The double is here. I, I guess this is okay. This is so awkward. So awkward. It's nice. This little combo is nice. The Alderberry is really good at this stuff. Okay. Nice he didn't have the space time. That was actually scary for about a second. Let's see if he commits something here. If he does, it'll open up the crow. He does. So we go... I guess it's just these two? We could get greedy and go for, like, go raptors. This dies. Probably better just to Chromac. But we don't have a good elderberry then next turn. Line dancing zombie. Why would he put it here? Why is he putting it here? It probably is line dancing zombie. This doesn't isn't much better. Against Lion Dancing Zombie, what's worse? Is it taking out the Shroom for two or taking out this one? Actually, this is better. 
This is better against line dancing zombies. So we'll go for the... Can you please cover this? You have to like not miss. This is fine. It taking out a shroom for two and giving us seven damage. That is absolutely fine. Played him like a freaking hula hoop. Played him like a hula hoop. Doesn't make sense. So we can now go four or five. I think this is fine. I'll try to put this one on height so it's an acid rain. Too slow. Pogo is way too slow here. Like, exceedingly slow. Played him like a flute. We're fine. We're really fine. That was a really good Cro-Mag. That was actually a really solid Cro-Mag. Look at the tempo we have on the field. Ridiculous. Mm. And buff shrooms? No. Tell me why. Uh, it's the same play. We just don't do the Astro. We do the Fairy. The Fairy buffs us up. Does a little bit extra damage to you. To you! He didn't cover that for some weird reason. I, I feel like I'm getting sniped. Do you guys feel like, in terms of the turns that he's making, like, why does he not cover it? Goes for the Acid. That's okay, though. That is okay. Just getting this real creepy, snipey vibe from this guy. Fairy Blast. Really nice. Run, baby, run. Cool. Great. The heck did he get stomped on from? Uh, so right now, we have six and six. Should I go for it? He's not doing enough damage to us. I think we just go for this. This is an awkward play, but it's the right play. Do the right thing. We can roll double ones and just win. It's pretty damn good. In fact, if we get like a time to shine here, I think we're 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 good we're good for life. He needs a freeze is what he needs. Oh look at the synergy, he's setting it up, he's going for it! Bruh 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 Damn, where's that plant food when you need it? Too bad I didn't remember plant food in this deck. What's in the box? I feel like this draw is gonna make a big difference here. Fairy blast to face. Um, oh, we don't quite have it. A small minion would have been guaranteed lethal here with the with the astro. Oh, now what are we gonna do? Actually, no. The, oh, this cost seven. <laughs> For seven, we could have won. There's no actual way to pull this off. This is five, six, seven. We can do it next turn, though. So we go like this. If this is a pogo, we lose. You're right. Uh, we'll play around Alienus and him not having pogo. If it's, yeah, Pogo in. Well, no, Pogo actually only does 10. He would need to draw a card as well. It's po it's Pogo. Oh, no, but he wins in lane. He wins in the other lane. Mm, too bad. GG. He had it anyway. Yeah, not, nothing could have really done there. Good stuff. Didn't respect the raptor, and we paid for it. Astro Shroom does shoot after being played on. Whenever you upgrade a card, the bottom one's ability will activate if playing a card. Like, Admiral Navy Bean into Jelly Bean's the same thing. If we would have had anything cheaper than an Elderberry, the Elderberry actually was horrible. We got that from High Voltage. If we got anything that even cost three or less, 
Uh, that was that would have been guaranteed lethal. A little sad. All right, here's this way. Uh, I guess we'll do this. I guess we'll do this. He looked he looked like a sniper, but you know. So this goes in lane, doesn't really matter where, I guess we'll put it on the ground. Maybe more to the right is better, so it hits before that the other berry. Probably should have put it here. Right. Can I support you with foot massages? What? <laughs> Lucas. It's a pine clone, actually. Maybe it's worth it. Mm, or mistakes just made. Was Berry Blast really the play there? Instant regret compilation. You're wearing your Instead t-shirt for the first time? So cute. Whee! I may pine clone next turn, but I may not. Where's the berries? Oh my gosh, we'll probably actually go some kind of berry play here. The man's about to get buried. Use time to shine for three damage? Nah. Bruh. Whee! The box. <laughs> it's not that's bad. Not good. Bruh. 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 Do we just bruh here? I feel like these empty lanes are going to be useful later on. So let's go. We'll probably end up representing more than three, more than three damage to his face. And face might have been the play there, though. Hmm. It charges our block meter an awful lot. It'll give us our superpower. Bruh! It's a 4 1. Hmm. This pine clone just got a whole lot better! Ho oh, ho! Whoa! Whoa! Ease up! Ease the hell up! Baby, right round like a. The question is, the question is, do we keep a lane open and hope this can take out a 3-3 next turn? Or do we actually proc the block and go for more damage? Like, to, for damage this turn, putting this in lane 1 is better. For the consideration of the Molecule, probably putting it here is better. He'll probably be able to take out one of them. If it's a Pogo, though, huh, that's tough. We have cards we can play. I'm gonna actually play for the Molecule. We don't need the damage this turn, we need the tempo. And I don't think he has actually a whole lot of gravestones that take this out. Drone Engineer. We did the right thing. We did the right thing. What takes it out? Smelly Zombie? It's electrician? Like, there's not a whole lot of gravestones that even take that out. The chance of being Teleportation Zombie, Drone Engineer, Pogo... Uh, things that will not allow us to play Molecule next turn are way more likely. Even Surprise Garg. It's awkward. He could have put it here and given us a good trade and denied the Molecule. Oh my gosh, what the heck is this thing? Uh, it, it, there's no crow. It's, this is the play. 
Whee! And we'll berry blast to our heart's content. We get five five drops. <laughs> Including a potted powerhouse. Oh, snap! Wow. Our plucky clovers. A <laughs> sham rocket! Whoa! They're right on point today. Holy crap. Uh, I think this is about as good of, <laughs> of time to shine as you get. Yet! <laughs> so much fun. <laughs> I'll get wrecked. That was four damage to phase clear two minions. I think I'll take it. <gasps> oh, he's getting he's getting carried away. He's like literally getting carried away. See, he wants to win with us having a, a little bit less health. Just to like maintain pride and dignity. I don't know. Got him! Easy! <laughs> Bullying a rank 29? 29's good! Guys, stop degrading a rank 29 by saying that beating him is, is an act of unwarranted aggression. Bullying podcast coming right up. T-Bone Gaming, sending a deck, Ramp Stomp, you're doing some card- that's a good idea. So you go with Ramp, I like Ramp Stomp, because you get a turn four, I should bring that back. We, we did a sort of thing like Ramp Dance, damn, do I play into this Weed Spray? I think I do the Half Measure, which is this play. This weed spray is spooky. <laughs> hmm. Rolling Stone. We can just throw this first pine clone in whenever we desire. Whenever we so desire. <laughs> What the heck is that? Is he going for a gadget? For the gadget. I don't know if I'm pine cloning next turn. I think this is it. We're probably going for this on turn six, or just doing a berry blast play next turn. That's what we get. All I could really use right now is a crow mag. <laughs> Snap. Uh, yeah. Time for unwarranted greed. Exe. Could I just get one here, please? Thank you. That was very nice of you. Is it raining right now? I'm literally looking up the weather on Google instead of going outside. It's literally pouring! Oh, I was wondering what that noise was. It's like a huge thunderstorm today in Toronto. Crazy. Crazy, dude. Crazy, man. Oh, snap! Four, five, six? This is absolutely necessary. I think we go Meteor instead. Let me save this for a finisher. It's only just two extra damage. I think this is fine. You always want this to the right of the Mushroom Grotto. Just how I explained in the intro. See, now, the, what I explained in the intro was if you play the Pine Clone, this turns to a Pine Clone, spawns a Mushroom, and then this Pine Clone turns that Mushroom into a Pine Clone. You know what I'm saying? Derek Eater. Derek Eater bottom feeder. 
so much pine clone. This is not the lane we wanted that in, but that's okay. Yeet! Why not play pine clone in the grotto? It was full. It was full of garbage. There was a non-team up there. <laughs> we time to make it splash. Oh yeah. Oh bro. Okay now, now they're three twos. Rust Bowl's way better at dealing with three twos. Like that line. It's time to eat this guy's meat. That sounds gross, guys. These are both going face. Yeet! Yeet! <laughs> Suddenly, somehow, chickening. Spirit time. Give that man a chicken. Where could he have gotten chickening from? That's impossible. Imagine even having, having chickening. Oh, it's Kite! He's still keeping me off the field. He doesn't want to deal with the wrath of Pine Clone. Oh, he's drawing even more cards! Still guaranteed lethal. I'm sure with one he's gonna get an answer here. Let's just turn this to seven and two. I know I'm like being presumptuous, going out on a limb, but I think we're gonna win. Guys, I'm pretty sure. I should make a Cosmic Peace Starch Lord deck. That'll be good. 40 months followed, let's go. Thank you, looter. Now we're getting it done. He threw his phone into a lake. Don't worry about it. He can't have bungee plumber. It's impossible. This is Rust Bolt we're talking about. You guys want to know why bungee plumber is better than Rolling Stone? This is a good example. What the hell? You're worried Canada's gonna turn to a second world country? <laughs> Why? Canada benefits so much from being next to the United States. Are you kidding me? How much less we have to spend on our military? <laughs> it saves us so much money. Ah, so I'm actually an American citizen. A US, and a, I'm a US citizen and Canadian resident. Baby, right now, like a bow, bow, like a bow, bow, like a bow, like a bow. Three, four. Might work. Should I keep this? The fishies are eating his phone as we speak. That's a lot of damage. I, I, I don't know. I think uh, this is going to ping a block meter, but I think it's okay. Will this go on YouTube? Yeah. Even if we lose this game, we'll still go on YouTube. This is good enough. What is this going to be? He goes He goes chimney sweep on one. So the possibilities are squirrel, rats, drone engineer, teleportation zombie. It's usually teleportation zombie. Uh, I'm actually going for Cro-Mag. Screw this guy. <laughs> actually gonna work out which is fine unless he triple threes here and uh, that would be bad i think it's rat i don't know what this is gonna be it's drone why is he running chimney sweep in a drone engineer deck though that doesn't make sense unless he just rolls a bunch of threes here and acid rains us to the ice age before we okay that's fine this is a really decent chromag this is very weak, This, these two, but the other two are fine. And it's a threat. It means he has to... Whoops. Decent. Decent! Turn three. Look at this value on turn three. I'm becoming, slowly but surely, becoming more of a Chromag fan. He buffs the other one, of course. Has the day finally come? We're in really good shape. Second appearance of Podfighter today. Third if you count Mulligan. There's that guy. One of our three ones still survived. 
Like uh <laughs> Harsh, but that's it. That's a good berry blast. The drone engineer is kicking our ass. It's nice if the puff shroom went for play. Just use like a shroom for two or something to contest this. Really, any small minion would be okay here. It's not what we need. Maybe we just go phase and rely on the block. I think we kind of have to. We just go phase. Really, preventing him from teleporting in something here is is the best way of trying to win. This is. Oh gosh! Roll one. No, it's guaranteed lethal. Wow, we get wrecked. Damn. I jinx it. Totally jinx that one. Wow. Wow. Freaking Crow Magnolia. You know what? Screw this card. Was it a top deck gadget? Ugh. Did you see it, top deck? If it came from the right of his hand. Damn. Alright, guys. That was a really fun deck. I think this is good. Is the Crow Mag good? I don't know. It's, it's been good against the Super Brains. <laughs> it's just pretty crap against any good control heroes. I guess that makes sense. Alright guys, that was a fun stream though. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace, this is Fry. <laughs>